Hi, welcome to the Mind to Mouth tutorial. In this video, we will be designing this form from one of the Mind to Mouth sample projects. We'll be doing that in the Mind to Mouth Tailwind Studio using the Tailwind prefabs. To get started, ensure you have Tailwind installed in your project, also the Mind to Mouth runtime. To set up Mind to Meld, navigate to the Mind to Meld portal, click on your app and follow the installation process. In your MightyMail config file, add your prefabs directory. Now make sure you have Tailwind prefabs file included in your project. To get that, go to the MightyMail prefabs repo, copy the Tailwind file, also the HTML file, and add to your project. Now let's get started. So we have this div here that serves as the container for our form. And we need a form tag, so let's drag this into the div. We also need an heading tag for the form title. Let's change the text to sign up. And let's get rid of this font family and change the font width to semi bold and change this text to two. All right, next is the form field and we need a div to serve as a wrapper. We also need a label tag and we'll be using this div. Let's change the tag name to label. And also create a text inside. I'll give this first name. All right. Now for the label, let's give this a text size of 14 px and a font weight of 500. And I'll be using the AI assist for that. Here you go. Next is the input. So let's drag into the div. And I'll be getting rid of this border and let's give this a background of light blue. Okay. So we need a bit of spacing between the input and the label. And let's give this a space of one. All right. And let's move this to the center. Okay, so we're going to be duplicating this to get the rest of the form fields for last name, email, and password. And we need to change the text, change this to last name, change this to email. And also change this to password. And we'll be doing the same for the input. Okay. And 
we need a bit of spacing between the form fields. So let's give this a space of four. All right. So currently the form is taking the full width and we want a smaller width for tablets and desktop screen sizes. So I'm just going to update this. And next we need to center the form. Give it a display of flex and align items to the center. I also need this to have a full width and take up the full height. Right, so one last thing we need for the form is a button. Let's drag this into the form. And give the button a full width. Let's also increase the padding. And let's check out the diff. This is what we have. All right. So currently the state is not being updated and we need to add values to the input. I'm going to give this first name. So I already have the states created and that's why we're not getting an error. And here are the states. Okay, let's go ahead and update the rest of the inputs. We also need to add an unchanged function to update the states. And I'll just copy this and duplicate for the rest of the fields. Right, let's test this out. Okay, we don't have a submit function yet, so let's open in editor and add that. Okay, I'm going to create a function here. All right, let's check this out. So one last thing, let's change the button text. Yeah, and another thing, 
we could add a loading button to mimic an API request. Drag this button and get rid of this. Okay, let's update the text to sign up and give the button a full width. And also align items to the center. Okay, so we need a loading state to update the spinner and only show when the form has been submitted. Right, let's add a submit function here. I'm going to use a set timeout function to mimic an API request. Okay, so we have an error here. Let me just change this. Let's check this out. All right, so this works fine. So one final update. Let's give a container a background of blue. And also I'll form a background of white. We need some padding here and also a border radius of rounded. All right. We can also view the different screen sizes. And so far, so good. So this is the original design and here's what we've created. If you have any questions, don't forget to drop them in the comment section and bye for now.